Coding interviews are hard. If you also have that opinion, I definitely feel your pain. Over the years, these algorithm tests have changed a lot I think it's due to a few reasons. If you're new here, my name is Michael. I run a coding interview prep platform, algoswithmichael.com, focused on pattern-focused study strategies, and I'm currently a software engineer at Google. So why are coding interviews so much more difficult now, it seems? Well, the first reason I think is due to gatekeeping. Most people that land positions at big tech companies, many mid-sized companies or startups, likely landed that position by going through some sort of technical test. Most commonly that involves leak code style questions as we all know. Eventually those people that landed these jobs become an interviewer at the company and naturally they fall into the same pattern of asking difficult algorithm questions because they themselves were asked difficult questions they also feel the need to ask the same things or even of greater difficulty. I feel like many interviewers have the mindset that if they suffered from having to study incredibly difficult algorithm questions, anyone else that gets hired should do the same. Another way coding interviews are changing is that now it seems commonplace to ask multiple algorithm questions in a single interview. I'm basing this off my personal experience having interviewed at a bunch of tech companies like Google, Meta, Netflix, Coinbase, Atlassian, Salesforce, and more. For Google, I had four technical rounds, and for three of those rounds, I was asked two questions where each question had follow-ups. So for Meta, I had two questions per interview. For Netflix, I actually had three questions for one of the interviews, and I didn't even have time to code up the last question. And this was just normal for each tech company I interviewed at. A minimum of two questions asked per interview in the medium to hard difficulty range. That's why it's so critical to do coding preparation in a smart way, instead of just doing random leak code questions and just hoping that you get something similar in the interview. My approach for landing multiple big tech offers was taking a pattern focused study approach where I would focus on one category of algorithm problems at a time and then identify a common pattern. Then I would have a true understanding of an entire algorithm category that I could apply to the majority of questions. This is exactly what I teach in my courses on algoswithmichael.com. On top of being asked more questions, the level of difficulty for each problem just seems much higher than it was several years ago. I actually talked about this extensively in my evolution of leak code problems video, but essentially there are so many more categories of interview problems that require studying in order to become interview ready. Also, many problems now involve more than one concept. So for example, maybe dynamic programming and binary search are combined into one problem. Definitely check out that video for a breakdown into those details. I think a possible reason for the increase of difficulty is also due to rampant cheating in coding interviews. Using ChatGPT or Claude, an exact or slightly modified leak code question usually can be answered by either of these AI tools. So this could explain why problems have so many follow-ups to the question. I imagine if interviews transition more and more to being in person, this wouldn't be possible anymore, obviously. Since many technical interviews nowadays are remote, one big change I have noticed is that you now have to write your code solutions using online tools where you can run and test your code. In my opinion, having to run and test your code completely makes the interviews more difficult in comparison to where if you were in person. If you're in person, you would just have to write pseudocode normally and explain your thoughts out loud. And a lot of the time when you're writing pseudocode, you can skip over details involving off by one errors and other small things like that. But when you interview remotely, you have to handle all of those extra edge cases, which inevitably makes the interview more difficult. For the past several years, I have only interviewed remotely and most of the interviews involved writing code in CoderPad. These remote style interviews also increase the level of competition. Now you can interview people from all around the world instead of a company having to potentially only hire in the area of the headquarters or fly people out to interview. Not to mention the software engineering space has definitely increased over the years. The bar inevitably gets raised more and more as an increased amount of people compete for the same jobs. I realize all these points may sound very doom and gloom. 
However, there is one thing I will say, it's worth it. On the other side of these annoying technical interviews are high paying jobs with great benefits. I remember talking to one of my friends about this. So you're saying I can study really hard for several months to land a big tech company position. And in return, I can make, you know, a quarter of a million dollars. When you think about it like that, at least for me, it made all the nights studying worth it. Another thing to mention is that there are now more resources than ever to prepare for these increasingly difficult interviews. Leak code being an obvious one, but obviously there's many more. If you are preparing for technical interviews and want to learn the coding patterns for a variety of algorithm categories, like topological sorting on directed graphs, sliding window, binary search, and more, you can check out algoswithmichael.com. Specifically for my YouTube audience, I offer a discount using the code ALGOHELP. That's all I have for you all today. Have a great day.